Hi, I'm glad you could join me today. I'm in the book of Philippians, chapter 4. We live in very anxious times. We live in a time where we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to come down in the society around us. If you follow the political world, we don't know what illnesses may come upon us uh, suddenly. Uh, cancer always seems to lurk around the corner for us, particularly as we age. We don't know what will happen with our children. There could be any kind of accident that happens with them. Anxiety is all around us, but the scripture gives us a cure for anxiety. And we find that in Philippians 4. I believe it's a very uh, familiar passage to those who are uh, acquainted with the scripture. Paul says it in this way. He says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your reasonableness, other translations say your forbearing spirit, be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. The first thing that Paul says as he's dealing with the anxieties that the people in Philippi are experiencing is that you need to rejoice. It is the Lord who's in charge, and he is to return soon. The Lord is at hand, Paul says. And that's, and that's an important distinction. It keeps uh, the, 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 the fact that we are expecting the Lord to return at any moment keeps us in uh, morally and keeps us conscious of our behavior toward him. That's a very proper thing, and we, we should be aware of those things. But it goes on there. He, he tells us not to be anxious, but to leave these things with God by prayer. Now, many people look at prayer as a uh, a list of things that they are supposed to do. They, uh, they recite that. Some people use, the, um, use a rosary and all of that. I'm not a proponent of that at all uh, because there's no magic to prayer. But prayer is that release of our emotions and release of our concerns, the release of all of the cares that we have upon the God who is able to take care of them. It's an expression of our trust in him. And that's why Paul links this idea of not being anxious about things with the idea of prayer. And he goes on and he says, by prayer and supplication. Supplication means the appeals that we make to God for various different things. And in that way, let your requests be made known to God. And so in spite of the anxieties of the day in which we live, we come to him and we say, and we lay these burdens at his feet. And we say, Lord, we want you to take these burdens and we're going to rejoice. We know you're coming soon. These are important to me. We, we release these to you. And the promise then in verse 8 is that, or excuse me, verse 7, is that we will have his peace. His peace that the world doesn't understand. You know, there are, there are times when I'm in the hospital with people who, who are not believers or at least not fervent believers. And they're anxious about what's going to happen to my body. Am I going to die? And, and uh, am I going to be disabled and all of that? And then there are other times when I'm in the hospital with people who are believers and who recognize his sovereignty over every aspect of our lives. And the, and the difference is remarkable. And when people who are anxious see us as believers and the peace that we have. It's a, it's a testimony of the God that we serve. And that's why very often when we get bad news, if it's, a, if it's for a believer, oh, believers get bad news also and we get anxious, believe me. But my prayer oftentimes is let your peace reign in their hearts and may it be a peace that, that 
surpasses the understanding of people around so that people will see how Christ has worked in us. And this isn't just here in Philippians 4. But Paul, uh, but excuse me, David tells us that all the way back in the Psalms. Psalm 55, I believe, says, Cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. Peter tells us that casting all your anxieties upon him because he cares for you. You see, this is something that God wants to do in each one of our lives. He wants us to live with that sense of peace, knowing he's coming and he's coming soon and we're in his care. And when, that, when those ideas are true and when they're in your heart, they will give you that peace. Father, we thank you for the grace that you show us. I pray for anyone who might be listening here today who is suffering from anxiety over physical or political or financial or whatever other kind of issue it might be. And I pray that they would fix their hearts and minds upon you and, and, and share these things with you in prayer and supplication so that they can uh, know your peace. Draw near to them and draw near to each of us as we walk with you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I hope you have a great day.